And welcome back to the calendar. We are talking about all the fun things that you have to cram into what's a little bit left of summer. I guess we have a couple more weekends. That, yeah, like not, but it just, I know that meteorological summer doesn't end until sometime right, in September, right. but really it feels like once those kids head off to school, it's all over. Right. Yeah. Wow. So, like take advantage of the weekend. Yeah, you got to get say. out there. So now this is this weekend is Papa Cork weekend. Uh, yes. At uh, Papa uh, the, Cork, the, ca the Capitol Theater in Chambersburg. Wine festival. Right, it is. It's a wine <laughs> festival, and they they specialize in Pennsylvania wine. So they've got I think it's seven Pennsylvania wineries that come in, and so you have a chance to sample all this because each one of them makes more than one kind. So you have all this wine you can try. You know, look for the stuff that suits you. Some people like right. a more you know sweeter wine. Some people like a more developed sophisticated wine I'm I'm revealing myself here but you know there's something for everyone here right well and the fun thing I think about a wine festival and tasting wine it's not about being snobby it's just finding what you like right which is really nice and uh, is there music there music is in fact yeah in fact yeah. there's a, a variety nice. of, of acts there will be uh, the, the Negley brothers that are an acoustic duo there's the Drew Adams project they're a rock band uh, from Waynesboro and then River Knot, which is uh, soul blues funk and R&B from Hagerstown Excellent. So there'll be a variety of stuff going on. Good time. Yeah. Good time. Yeah. Tasting some local wine, supporting local business, having a good time. Right. I and love and they're also they also want people to be responsible. So of you know if you are going to be the designated driver, then the you know the ticket to get in is cheaper. If you're a, oh, a child, nice. of course, then Very the ticket nice. to get in is cheaper. So. But no children is designated drivers. That's right. Just that, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wouldn't work that way. <laughs> that doesn't work so well. So let's get the information up on the screen. That's Papa Cork for the Capitol. It's a, a fundraiser for the Capitol Theater. It's taking place at the Capitol Theater in Chambersburg. It's noon to 7 p.m. Saturday, and uh, tickets are 14 bucks if you hurry. $17 at the door. Designated drivers are seven, are seven bucks, and there's a phone number there. Okay, and this is just on Saturday, right? Just on Saturday. Just on Saturday. All right, so should we talk about how if you want to submit? Let's do that. Yeah. It, Send us your information. If you have an event or something that you want us to know about, put it in our calendar or here on the TV calendar. Send it to the Lifestyle Department at the Herald Mail. That's at lifestyle. You send it by email at lifestyle at herald-mail.com. Or you can send it directly to our calendar. Upload it to our calendar yourself, our online calendar, at allhagerstown.net. All right, okay. so we got to know. All right, so I like this music fest. Yeah, yeah. this is, this is a, a Christian music fest. Um, it is host, it's uh, being held at uh, the New Covenant Fellowship Independent Church in Boonesboro. This is a pretty big deal. They've got a variety of, of acts, con some contemporary Christian music, of course, but you know, different stripes of that. Some a little bit more edgy, some a little bit more family friendly. Right, um, well, but, I couldn't you know, get it's past the, families. the pig roast. <laughs> it just stopped me cold. Pig roast, Pig hello. roast, things for kids <laughs> yeah. and things for adults. Yeah, you know? um, and, and roast pig. Right. <laughs> always a good time. Always, always a good time. Always a good time. And, and this is being held at the church. Uh, it's uh, Music Fest uh, 2013. Uh, they've, they've done this several years now, so this is an annual event. Oh, really? And All right, so we should put that information up there. Saturday afternoon, yeah. yep, uh, 1 to 7, and there's a phone number and there's a website there, so uh, call for more information. That should, right. be, that should be a lot of fun. All right, so now I'm so excited. Now, this next event is a new event. It's a new event. Oh, this is I the first year they're trying that. Dog Fest, hello. Yeah. Why hasn't there been a Dog Fest before? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Because everyone loves dogs. Well, who doesn't love? Right. Yeah, we don't like people who don't like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> this is for all kinds of dogs and, uh -huh. and their owners. And their um, owners. There, so there'll be, it's, it's both informative Mm -hmm. And just for fun, so right. there will be uh, Pat Miller, who's a local a local author and a, a nationally known dog trainer, will be there both days. This is Saturday and Sunday, uh -huh. uh, and this is in Shepherdstown, right downtown on, on German Street. Well, I uh, like the the five k run with your dog. There's a there's I like that, that yeah. Um, there's that which is again just fun. You know, yeah. This isn't necessarily for any purpose except to have a good time sure. with your dogs. It's dog fest. Right, right, right. <laughs> but there'll be demonstrations. There'll be, you know, trainers who can show you how to how to relate to your dog better and train your dog better. Nice. Right. Nice. There'll be a blessing of the dogs if you you know a if blessing. you want to have your dog. All right, be, so right, and this blessed. is free, right? We should put that. Right, it's free to get up. in. There may be some there may be some events for which there's a fee, but it is meant to be, you know, inclusive. Come, have fun, bring your dog. Right. Hot dog eating kind right. of. Right. Hot dog. That's a different kind of dog <laughs> from the kind dog, you walk in with. Different dog. Different yeah. dog. Um, let's get that information up on the screen. It's a dog fest weekend. It's 10, 10 to 4 on Saturday and on Sunday. And downtown Shepherdstown, right on German Street. It's free to, to get in. And there's a phone number and a website there on the screen. I like that. I'll have to borrow a dog. 
go to Dogfest. All right, all right, moving right along. I wanted to make sure that we, we talked a bit about uh, the Jefferson County Fair. There's been a lot of county fairs recently. Sure. And so now it's Jefferson County's turn. Well, you can never have too many fairs, And, you right? know, this is, again, it's a good old family time. Yeah. You know, this country started out being largely agricultural, and so mm -hmm. we're still celebrating that tradition. You know, so kids, 4-H kids will bring their animals to be judged. There will also be, um, you know, uh, agricultural kind of, city people come to these because it's kind of quaint to look yes. at. But, you know, living on a farm, it's hard work. You, you know, you work with your neighbors. It's a great cultural, so it's a great way to grow up. And well, so and, and you get funnel cake. This is a celebration of that. Right, right, right. There's also <laughs> the carnival, the there's the game. rides, yes. there's things, there's, you know, uh, entertainment. There's a dirt drag racing on Sunday. Uh, monster trucks uh, on Tuesday. Rocket launch. Cashmere will be there. They're a, a, Led, Zepp a Led Zeppelin tribute band. That's not nice. exactly agricultural, but it's fun. Well, it's all part of the big picture. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and there's a rocket launch on right where the, the 4-H uh, club gets together and launch launches sure. rockets on Sunday. So lots of fun. That's good times. All right, we've got to put that. Let's information get that information. That's yeah. the Jefferson County Fair. It's at the fairgrounds in Kearneysville. That's five bucks for adults and three bucks for kids to get in. That's pretty inexpensive. Yes. Um, and there's no additional charge to go see the, the entertainment acts. There's a website there on the screen for complete information. Wait, I see timber sports comp. Is that like when you run on the log? Uh, you know, I'm not you sure. Like not I'm not, it must be sort of lumberjacking skills. Lum all right. So, well, like wow, that. that is almost as good One as One more thing I wanted to mention. This is uh, back in, uh, in, in Hagerstown. There is a, a gallery here in Hagerstown called the Contemporary School of Art. Uh, and a gallery, and mm -hmm. uh, this is Ron Lytle's gallery right here in downtown Hagerstown. He's been keeping this open, I think it's 10 years. Right. And I think this is actually his anniversary time. So oh, he, wow. he's been expanding the sort of the work that he shows from just locals to uh, some international artists. He's had some Eastern European artists recently, and this is one of them who will have her work up on display for this next week, starting this weekend. Right. Her name is Andrea Gliga, and uh -huh. she's Romanian. And so she, she likes to work in bright color yes. and uh, sort of, uh, inter sort of uh, impressionistic in, in a way. So she'll have her work up on screen or up, up on, on the walls. I think she'll be there also and meet with people. Let's get that information on the screen real sure, quick. Sure, sure. Um, the Contemporary School of the Art in Gallery is in downtown Hagerstown. Uh, the show opens on Sunday the 18th and runs through next Saturday the 24th. Uh, Andrea Gliga is her name, and uh, there's a, a name and a, a phone number there on the screen. All right, it's a big town. There's a lot to do. We're here to help you wow. do it, so go out and enjoy it. See you next time.